What exactly is the internal energy of a system? The internal energy of a gaseous system is simply the sum of all the different types of energies of all the molecules found in our system. So that includes the vibrational energies, the translational kinetic energies, the rotational kinetic energies, and all the different types of energies. So, let's begin with the following simplified case. Let's say that we have the following closed container and inside this closed container we have n number of molecules where each molecule is a monatomic molecule. So that means it's composed of a single atom. Now that implies because we're dealing with monatomic ideal gas molecules that implies that each molecule only has translation kinetic energies and so that means the internal energy of our system is equal to the sum of all the translational kinetic energies of all the molecules found in our system so the internal energy is equal to k1 our translational kinetic energy of molecule 1 plus k2 our translational kinetic energy of molecule 2 plus all the way up to Kn, where Kn is simply the translational kinetic energy of the nth molecule. So, recall that on average, each molecule of an ideal gas has an average translational kinetic energy equal to the following equation. So the average translational kinetic energy, K bar, is equal to one half multiplied by the mass of that molecule multiplied by the average square velocity and that is equal to 3 divided by 2 multiplied by Boltzmann constant K multiplied by the temperature given in Kelvins. So that means we can replace each one of these terms we can replace k1 k2 k3 all the way up to kn with simply our average translational kinetic energy k bar so the internal energy is equal to k bar plus k bar all the way up to k bar where we have n of these k bars because we have n number of molecules so that means the internal energy of our system is equal to the product of n multiplied by k bar where k bar once again is the average translational kinetic energy of each molecule so the internal energy is equal to the product of n and the average translational kinetic energy and because k bar is equal to this quantity this is equivalent to n times one half m the average square velocity and this is equivalent to the following result because k bar is equal to 3 kt divided by 2 so k bar or this quantity multiplied by n gives us this value now recall that by definition the Boltzmann constant K is equivalent to the universal gas constant R divided by Na where Na is Avogadro's number it's the number of molecules in one mole of gas so R divided by N, we can take this and replace K with this ratio as we do in the following equation. So the internal energy of our simplified gas system is equal to 3 divided by 2 multiplied by N times R times T divided by Na. So notice that N divided by Na is simply the number of gas molecules in our system divided by the number of gas molecules in one mole of gas. So the ratio N divided by N Na is simply the number of moles that are found in our gaseous system. So we can replace N divided by Na with lowercase n, where lowercase n is the number of moles in our system. So it turns out that the internal energy of our gaseous system that is composed of monatomic gas molecules that only have translational kinetic energies is equal to 
3 multiplied by n, the number of moles multiplied by r, the constant, multiplied by t, the temperature in kelvins, divided by 2. So this gives us the internal energy of monatomic ideal gas composed of n moles of gas. So, this equation only works as long as we have a monatomic gas and as long as we only have translational kinetic energies. But what about diatomic molecules? Diatomic mo molecules are molecules that are composed of two atoms. So let's suppose we have the following two atoms that are connected, bonded by a sigma bond. Not only will these molecules have translational kinetic energies, they will also have rotational kinetic energies as well as vibrational kinetic energies. So that means in a system that is composed of diatomic molecules, not only do we have to sum up the translational kinetic energies, but we also have to sum up the other types of energies and that includes these two types of energies. Now notice generally speaking the internal energy depends on temperature for both real gases and ideal gases. So as we increase the temperature of our system the molecules are vibrating and traveling with higher velocities and that means because the average Average translational kinetic energy of our system of our molecules will increase the overall collective energy will also increase so as the temperature increases usually the internal energy also increases